Yo, what's good everyone? Divine Sense Boxing back in the building. I know it's been a little while since I made a video, but I did want to come back and give some thoughts about this fight coming up here in not this upcoming weekend, but the following weekend, man. January 22nd, we got Gary Russell Jr. facing off against Mark Magsayo, all right? Featherweight matchup here for Gary Russell Jr.'s WBC title. So this is a opportunity for Mark Maxayo to step up and try to shock the world. I mean, I think most people would agree that if Mark pulls this off, it's a major upset. And I just wanted to go ahead and give my quick thoughts and breakdown because there might be some people out there that are really into this fight, very interested in this fight. So I wanted to give you guys my thoughts. Let's first start with the champ and Gary Russell Jr., and quick tale of the tape, if you guys don't know, he's five foot four and a half. He's got a 64-inch reach, uh, and he's got a pretty good resume, to be honest with you, there in featherweight division, man. Uh, he's defended the title five times. Uh, you know, he beat um, Jojo Diaz. He beat Kiko Martinez uh, and a few other notable names as well. The only kind of blemish on his record is a majority decision loss to, of course, you know, Lomachenko, the guy that is very, very difficult and a very high pedigree boxer. And that's pretty much it. Other than that, he has compiled a very, very good and respectful uh, resume. And one of those is a, a guy in, in Johnny Gonzalez who KO'd Abner Mares. I mean, this guy KO'd Abner Mares in the first round, Gary Russell Jr., uh, went in there and uh, took care of business to win the WBC title. So, you know, he's very distinguished, as I said. Um, and some notable things for those people that don't know very much about Gary Russell, maybe you're a big Mark Magsayo fan. You don't really know what Mark's going up against. I just want to throw some things out there for you guys to consider. You know, he is a Southpaw. So anytime you got a Southpaw orthodox, you know, as we always say here uh, on Devon Sense Boxing or anybody – that understands boxing, Southpaws see orthodox fighters all the time. You know, so they have that awkwardness. They have the ability to make adjustments very quickly. And on the contrary, orthodox fighters don't see Southpaws very often, right? So it's a very well-known thing in boxing. So that's something to uh, consider. Uh, Gary Russell Jr., my observation is he's got very, very quick hands. I think that's one of the big factors in this fight is going to be hand speed. I definitely feel like Gary Russell Jr. has the advantage in the hand speed department. Uh, and I consider Gary Russell Jr. like a prowling fighter. You know, he likes to prowl and, and, and wait for some real nice, clean counter shots. He's got the hand speed to do it. He's got the reflexes to do it. And for a southpaw, he's got a very, very nice right hook and even, even a right jab. He pumps the jab out there very nicely uh, and very technically sound with the jab. But what I really like is that right hook. You don't see that from Southpaws very often. It's a really nice right hook. And uh, another thing that I like about Gary Russell, which I think will pay a big factor in this fight, is good timing. Right? He's got good spacing, good timing. He knows how to use his reach. And he also, when he's in trouble, knows how to use his feet to get out of danger and also set up his punches. So he's got very good footwork. And timing a lot of times kills speed. So at any point in time where you know Mark starts to get in a bit of a rhythm, Timing is what's going to offset rhythm. So those are some key notable things there to check out. Now, in regards to Mark, man, you know, he's a taller fighter in this fight. He's 5'6", uh, and he's got a 68-inch reach as well. So he's taller and with a longer reach. Will that play a factor? Very possibly. We'll have to see. But he does have the advantage uh, in that department. If you guys don't know, Mark is from the Philippines, so he's representing the proud of the Philippines here in this fight. And he's got a record of 23-0, and and he's got 16 KOs to go with those 23 victories. Now, of course, you know, what kind of victories are those victories? Anything notable? Is it uh, an amazing 23-0? and Well, you know, he has some good credible fights uh, on his resume. Don't want to take that away from him. He did fight Julio uh, Cesar, where, you know, a guy who came off a couple losses, he had a draw, but nonetheless, he is a notable name, and Mark went in there and did what he had to do, and that's probably one of his um, big victories uh, to kind of put him into position to where he is now to fight a guy like Gary Russell Jr., to be completely honest. It was his first big step up, and he came out victorious. One thing I do want to point out, though, is that he was knocked down 
uh, in that fight. A fight that he won, but he was knocked down. He got up, he recovered, and he went on to uh, knock out uh, Julio. So, you know, he is susceptible to a few shots. He was uh, he was knocked down with a left hook uh, against Julio, you know, and it happens in boxing. You know, he did recover, so you got to give him that credit. But like I said, he is vulnerable in some positions, you know, and will Gary Russell do his homework and do his deal diligence to try and expose that? Uh, some notable things about Mark that I think he's going to bring into the fight to make this an interesting and entertaining fight for however long it may last. You know, I think he brings in good tenacity. Um, he's got a good killer instinct, Mark does. You know, when he hurts his opponent, he jumps on him. You know, I've I've watched enough of his fights where he lands something big and he, you know, when he thinks you're hurt, he's going to try to finish you off. And He's got a very, very good killer instinct. He's got some decent power, you know, 16 KOs, um, is a tale of that you know we go up against a guy like Gary who has been hit with big shots against very notable fighters so if he's able to knock Gary down or knock out Gary I mean I think there's no question of his power for sure uh, in their featherweight division um, and you know he's got that good reach right he's 68 inches for the featherweight division is a very good very very good reach uh, advantage he's probably going to have a reach advantage against most fighters that he faces off in that division. So he's got good reach. He knows how to use it pretty good. Um, rangy shots to kind of chip away and break through the defense of his opponents. Um, and, you know, one thing that I do want to point out, though, is that fighting at the range, and like I said, breaking down his opponents, he does very well. But I do feel like he's vulnerable on the inside. I don't think his inside is very good, very mediocre at best. And he is very, very uh, susceptible to body shots. Uh, you see him get hit to the body a lot. And when you got a guy like Gary Russell who is very quick, he's going to go to the body for sure. You're, you can almost bet on that if you're if you're Mark uh, McSayo in this fight. And, and I've just seen his body really get touched up um, in some of his you know previous uh, three or four fights uh, leading up to this fight. So I think that's something that he has to be aware of. Um, and, you know, he knows that he has power. He kn I think he believes in his power, and I think – um, his M.O. is fight at range, set it up, chip away, and just set up that big power shot. And he has that capability, you know, and in boxing anything can happen. If Gary Russell gets a little bit too confident, maybe he feels like he's boxing really well and, like I said, just gets too cocky, too confident, whatever the case may be. Mark can still loop something around. He's got a, what is it, uh, a four-inch reach advantage. So that's 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 big, 60 eight inches till 64. Yeah. So that four inches is a lot, you know? Um, so Gary's always going to have to, you know, maintain his distance and um, have his timing on set and, you know, use his hand speed because a guy like Mark, who's young, he's hungry. He wants to prove himself. This is an opportunity. Even if he's losing the fight, he's going to be a live dog. He's going to try to land a big punch. So you're going to have to be aware of that if you're Gary Russell Jr. But those are just my quick thoughts, man, about this fight. Uh, it's a fight that I'm definitely going to tune into. I've always liked Gary Russell Jr. in particular. I'm starting to learn more about Mark McSayo, uh, and I'm curious to see what he's going to bring to the table, so we'll have to see. But uh, my official prediction of this fight is, uh, you know, I think Gary's got the resume. He's fought the better fighters. Uh, and the hand speed advantage, the boxing skill, and all that, I think is what's really going to be the the atmosphere of the fight, you know. And I think that Mark will have some moments where he lands some big thudding shots, and it's going to be a test for Gary a little bit to see if he can how he's going to adjust to that reach disadvantage and a guy who's trying to hurt you, you know, a guy like Mark. He's not just trying to box you; he's trying to swing, he's trying to hurt you. So. Gary will be tested, I think, especially in the first, you know, three or four rounds. And if he's able to time and keep his defense on point, I think he'll take Mark into deep waters. And I'm going to say decision here. I, I think it does go 12. Um, I think that there could be a knockdown possibly. Um, but I still think that Mark finishes on his feet, but it's, it's going to be clear. And I won't be surprised, though, if it is a late stoppage. Um, but that's my official prediction. Those are my thoughts on how I see the fighters. A little bit of a fight breakdown for you guys. I hope that helps. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Stay part of the conversation. It means a lot. And, of course, 
to all my current subscribers i appreciate you smash that like button and uh i'll see you guys on the next one i have a lot more to talk about i got a whole lot to talk about bud crawford earl spence situation that continues to get more tasty and uh also a little bit more about some other upcoming fights we have uh, brian castaño and the charlo rematch and i know a lot of you guys voted in my community page for me to talk about that fight so uh the people have spoken and i will be either making a video or going live about that topic so you guys stay tuned man i'll see you guys on the next one you guys stay up stay safe be positive stay strong i'm out